Hello everyone. Welcome to English lesson 1. Here you can find two texts. What is the difference between these two texts? Can you identify? Yes, the first one it's a story. It has a plot, character, chapters, novels, short stories, narratives all convey a story to the reader. What about the second one? Second text is a form of a play script. It's a written text of a play or a film. Here is our LFQ. How do I prepare a play script based on the given story? So in this lesson, based on the given story, you are preparing a play script. So try to recall all the features of a play script before preparing a play script. Here you can find a story and the play script. Story, a lion and a mouse. Once upon a time, there lived a lion and a mouse. One day, the lion was sleeping. The mouse started playing on it. The lion woke up. He caught up the mouse and was going to kill. The mouse requested for forgiveness. The lion let him go. After some days, the lion caught in a net. The mouse cut the net with his teeth. The lion was free. He thanked the mouse. Moral, do good, have good. From the story, now we are creating the play script. So recall all the features of a play script. First, its title. The title is The Lion and the Mouse. The characters are the lion, mouse and the narrator. Narrator. The narrator is informing about the scenes. Once upon a time, there lived a lion and a mouse. One day, lion felt so sleepy. Then comes the dialogues between the lion and the mouse. Lion, it's hot day. I'll rest now. Inside the bracket, you can find the stage direction. Lion felt asleep. Suddenly, a little mouse ran over his face and started playing. Lion, I'm going to kill you and eat you up. Froze loudly. Again, you can find the stage direction. Mouse, kind lion, please let me go. Cried. If you let me go, then one day I'll do a big favor for you. Lion, laughing. Ha ha, don't make me laugh. I'm not that hungry, so I will let you go. Narrator. A few days later, the lion was out in the jungle. Suddenly, the lion caught, caught in a net trap made by the hunters. Lion. Oh God, how will I get out here? Desperately. Help, help. Mouse. Is that my friend, the lion I hear? Thinking. Narrator. As soon as the mouse saw the lion in the trap, he started to gnaw the rope with his teeth. Mouse. Don't worry, I'll set you free. Lion. Feeling happy. Thank you, my good friend. Now I realize that you were right. Again, the narrator. That day, the lion learned a lesson and they became good friends. See how it is prepared in, a, uh, in the form of a play script from the given story. So don't forget to recall all the features such as title, character and the dialogue between the characters as well as the stage direction. You can find all the features over here. Here are the points to remember while planning a play script. So before you prepare a play script, keep all these points in your mind. Where is the scene set? What's the scene title? Who are the characters? What happens in the scene? Dialogues and stage direction. Props. What are the props used here? Net. How do my character feel? That is stage direction. Desperately. Feeling happy. Thinking. All these are the characters. They feel and the beginning, middle and end. So all these features keep in mind and then prepare a play script. Here is your AFL question. Thirsty crow. There was a crow which was very thirsty. He searched for water everywhere. At last he saw a water pot near a well. He looked inside the pot. There was very little water in the pot. The crow saw some stones nearby. He thought of a plan. He picked up some stones. He put them one by one into the pot. The water level in the pot came up. The crow drank the water and flew away happily. My scene title will be Where is my scene set? Characters in my scene. What happens in the scene? Just one line, that's enough. One dialogue said by the crow. 
What are the props used here? Beginning. Write only one sentence and also the end. Narration. I'll give you a few minutes to complete this. Let's check the answers. My scene title will be Thirsty Crow. Where is my scene set? In the forest. Characters in my scene. Crow. We can only find crow here. What happens in the scene? The crow was so thirsty, he saw some water inside a pot. He picked up some stones and put it into the pot. The water level came up and he drank the water happily. One dialogue. Oh, I'm feeling so thirsty. Where can I get some water? Props, pot, stones. Beginning. What is happening in the beginning? The crow was so thirsty, saw a water pot near a well, but there was nothing left. Suddenly, he thought of a plan. That was the beginning of the story. What comes towards the end? He picked up some stones and put them one by one into the pot. The water level came up and he drank the water happily. So if your answers are right, I hope that all the answers are right. Okay. So put tick mark and then write SA, your self-assessment has done. What have you learned so far? I have learned about how do I prepare a play script from a story. Here is a task. Task 1. Story is given here. You have to write the title, setting, characters, one dialogue and what are the props used here. Task 2. It's a story about selfish horse. Read the story and then write the title, narrator, narrator's part you have to write. Okay. And the dialogue between the characters. How do the characters feel? So when you write the dialogue, write the stage direction. Then one sentence of narration, that is end. Then task three, you can find many stories here. You can choose any picture, any story which you like and create a play script based on that story. Here some stories are Hare and the Tortoise, Cinderella, Snow White and Little Red Riding Hood. I hope that you all know the, you all know the uh, stories, all the stories. Okay, so choose any one. And then prepare a play script based on that. Okay. Here is your plenary. Type answer joinmyquiz.com. Open join a game quiz and enter the game code. Hope everything is clear for you now. I hope that um, you know how to prepare a play script based on the story. Revise well. Complete the task. Take care. Bye.